Anyway, oh. Um. Oh, keys! Ah! I forgot these things were in this temple. You'd think there'd be more of them this far underground, but. In this damp, dank place. Hey, buddy. I don't remember. Oh, hello! Not dealing with you today, girl. Well, I am, I guess. I just didn't want to. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Everything's falling apart in this catacombs. Who built this place? Alright, is there someone in there? There is. There is. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Now. Oh, don't get too close. There we go. Man. Halloween coming up. <laughs> oh, good. A red rupee. What a pleasant surprise. I'm glad I risked my life running past two reeds for that. Oh gosh. Like I was saying though, maybe a you know a reeded costume would actually be kind of cool for Halloween. I don't know how I, how well I could pull, pull it off. I don't have that bulbous of a head, but oh, there actually is another one of these uh, these things here. For some reason, I didn't think there, were, there was. I thought there were only two stones in this temple, but alas, I was wrong. Medley standing, uh, like, the other way, Link, by the way, you're conducting in kind of the wrong... Oh, uh, well, she got the idea anyway, she's a smart girl. Keys, you're ruining the shot. Come on. I know we've already seen this, like, twice before, but... You gotta be like that guy. Don't be like that guy. Okay, ooh. I think we're actually coming up on near the end of the temple. At least geographically, we're near the end of the temple, because you can actually, yeah, you can see right over there. There's the boss door. Just sitting pretty under a... <laughs> under a very welcome, welcoming threshold. And, oh, hey, look at this. No, I, no, I want it. What? That doesn't work? Oh, man. Better get at my bomb arrows. No. Alright. I just, yeah, okay, that works. <laughs> I don't have to time the throw or anything, just throw it on top. There's the last warp pot for you. Alright, man, the custodial staff, they do a pretty good job with the rest of this temple, except maybe that tingle statue that smelled like mold. But that one wall they totally skimped on, I guess. It's all moldy and stuff. Really, that fall didn't leave you dizzy, Medley, but, well, I guess crashing into a wall head first would probably be worse. Okay. This room. <laughs> this fucking room is the bane of this entire temple. There's no challenge to it. There, I don't think there are any enemies in here, really. It's just a matter of pushing and pulling a bunch of blocks. So, uh, off to a great start, obviously. Anyways, like I was saying, to try and save you guys and uh, and myself some grief, I think I'm actually just going to go ahead and speed right through this section, so, uh... I mean, I'm still going to be talking and stuff, I'll probably... I don't know what I'll do. I'll figure out something to make this room, because this room's going to take a little while to actually complete. I'll show how to complete it, obviously, but ooh, gosh. Melly, you are just hiding all sorts of things today. Anyway. So, let's get the show on the road. Basically, it's just a matter of, you got to get this light here from one side of the room to the other, so that... The goal of this entire room is to, as you can probably see if you head over here, there's another one of these re dead faces. And the goal is to light that up, and you have to get the light to go across this pedestal here and that one over there, so that we can shine light onto the re mask. That's base that's your goal for this temple. That's your goal for this temple. Yes, that's the entire goal of the temple, is to light up that one re dead face. No, it's the goal of this room, and it's a, it's a long and complex and arduous process. We're gonna get it done, though, I promise. It's a lot of command melody usage, probably the one area that they... <laughs> It's kind of like they, they've been teaching you all these mechanics for, for the entire temple, and this is your final test on them, is, is more or less what I get with this room. Though, a fi they probably could have thought of a better final test. Link, 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 stop it! No! Probably could have thought of a better final test than a uh, push blocks bonanza here. Alright. Well, it looks like we found somebody's pot stash back here. Look at that. My god! A little bit more than a pot stash. An entire hole back here. And again, I wonder, like, could I actually be pushing these mirrors if not for the power gauntlets that I need to get into this temple? They're not called power gauntlets, they're called power bracers. That's what, I've been feeling such a jackass saying power gauntlets. And that's probably why, because that's not what they're actually called. Okay, I don't know how that worked exactly. Oh no, was, that was that was medley's like getting reflected onto the mirror there. Okay. 
I thought it was like reflecting the light that was hitting the direct back of the mirror. I'm like, wait, I talked, to this, I talked at length about how angles and everything work. I do, you alright there, my girl? Oh, no, I, I want to uh, actually shine on there. Alright. I'm glad you don't actually need like a big beam of light in order to hit those things. In order to knock out those big statues. Oh, Medley's just running out of the way. See, she is so smart. Look that. Work it, honey! Work it! <laughs> Whatever. I wonder what these scorpion implants have to do with anything. They're all over these mirrors, I don't even know. These mirrors are actually really cool. I like their aesthetic design. It's like they have these... Oh, they have these eyes on them and they have hands and everything. Like in another time, like in, in Wind Waker Master Quest, maybe these mirrors... Oh look, we're one half down the room already. Maybe this won't take as long as I thought it would. Maybe I won't speed up after all. We'll, we'll see how things go. Oh, I forgot something actually, I just remembered. But maybe in another time, these mirrors could have been enemies. You never, you know. They seem like perfect candidates for them. Alright. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I'm pretty sure this chest is just rupees or a joy pen or something, but... I can't not... I can't just leave a chest unattended in a temple. I, I mean, I have no qualms leaving a heart container unattended in a temple, I guess, but uh, a chest with 50 rupees. Fuck that, I'm taking that with me! And you can't stop me, Medley! Not that you would try to, I guess, but... Alright, oh, we don't need this right now, girl. It's cool that we're reflecting light in midair and everything. That was a very Michael Bay-esque shot, but, uh... Well, Michael Bay minus the explosions. Which is what, um... <laughs> like a still shot of a tree. Okay. There's another chest there that looks like we can get. I think there's actually another little thing, too, beyond the chest. Yeah, this right here, look at this. Actually open up this little secret passage behind the secret wallway. Alright. I'm pretty sure this one's a joy pendant. But, you know what? For completion of sake. Alright. I'm actually gonna head, I think, before I complete this room, and I, I swear if this, uh... I'm gonna be a mite peeved if this room resets before I complete it, if I, like, leave... Because there's another little room over here that I want to explore, and I think this is actually where the, uh... Treasure chest, or the treasure chart is. What do I want to do? I want to the, uh, skull hammer here. Alright, this is another way. This is a way to knock down these things from afar, if you feel like. So let's just release all three Stalfos, because why the hell not, right? Let's see how well that works. Uh oh. Okay, this could be bad. This is gonna be a bad time. Bad time. Oh, he's re he's reanimating. Okay. All right, now we have to fight three Stalfos in very close confines here. This could be a bit of a bit of a mess. Oh gosh, you got you guys, you okay? <laughs> you don't mind if I just place a bomb right between you, do you? Oh gosh. Oh, where's 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 where is he? Here, get him. Oh, no, he's reanimating. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm amazed I'm not taking any more damage than I am. In fact, have you even taken damage yet? Ah, oh, damn it. You outsmarted me with your really slow walk cycle. Get out of here, Stalfos. How are the other two not attacking me? I, like, I know they're slow as shit, but... They were, like, right next to me, I thought. Okay. Well, that's one down, at least. Oh, well, that's another way. That, you can just suicide bomb them, I guess. That's another way to deal with Stalfos. Alright, just one ain't no big deal. Man, these things really do take forever to attack. That, that was poor display, guys. Three on one, and you only did, like, a heart of damage to me. Poor, poor display. F minus, see me after class. At least we found that second treasure chart, though, eh? Gotta wonder who puts these things everywhere. I mean, if I had to guess, I would say it's Tingle, because he's, like, supposed to be the chart expert or something, but... How the hell did Tingle get all the way down here? I guess his statue is down here. The statue that's scented with his cologne. His moldy, mildewy cologne. Go to that area and rely... yeah. I don't even know why I started reading. Oops! <laughs> Sorry, Medley. Uh, did you and the door frame have a nice conversation while you were up there? <laughs> Looked like you threw your head for a bit of a spin. All right, so this room doesn't reset, thankfully. Thankfully, I do need you again, though, Medley. Oops! I don't need to throw a boomerang at your head. That's not the idea here. Don't look so scared, Medley. We've done this before. I'm just going to uh, possess your head for a little bit. Think of it as you're getting attacked by a Poe, but uh, the Poe has a sword and a lot more health than a normal Poe. And could probably slice your head off if you wanted to. He doesn't want to, though. That's, that's the good thing, Medley. 
Might as well do that. While I'm here. And then I think, uh... Hold on, let me actually get a bit, bit better of a vantage point. This, like that, maybe? I think that'll work. I hope that'll work. Yeah, that should be good. Man, that Scorpion emblem is everywhere in this temple. Do you see that? It's even, like, the ground there where the, uh... Where the mirror's gonna get pushed to. I don't know what that is, because I assure you, the boss of this temple is not a scorpion. <laughs> but the furthest thing from a scorpion you could think of. There's another pot stash up there, but I think I'll forego it this time. I'll leave the, uh, the pose to their stash. Okay. And actually, I think we're just about done with this room. Okay, so maybe this room's not as bad as I remember it being. For some reason, I guess I just remember it being more tedious than, uh, than anything else. But it seems to be kind of alright. There's enough diversions in this in this room to make it not seem so bad. Still, as core, it is just push block from A to B, and uh, it's kind of it. So is that enough? I think that is, yeah, so... Let's go, Medley! Let's solve the last puzzle. Together, as friends. Okay. So, that is... One, by the way, make sure... <laughs> because it, it is... There's nothing more annoying, I tell you, than leaving... Then, like, letting your contro control stick droop just a tiny bit too much before leaving uh, Medley to her devices there. And then it's not shining on the sun anymore, and you have to, like, go back into her, use the command melody again. Like, it's it's just a link. Thank you, thank you. It's just a minor inconvenience, but an inconvenience nonetheless. Hey, guys, do you think we put enough stone slabs between them and the door? Nah, maybe put a few hundred more. Okay. That's all I could think of when I watched that animation there. Oh gosh, we almost got sliced by the Sunblades. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take Medley with me. If I remember, this room is a bit of a danger zone, but she'll be fine, I'm sure. A little bit of a danger zone. Okay, so there's that dark note over there. And you can notice, actually, uh, if you've been paying attention, there's a theme of skulls, bubbles, in this in this temple just appearing from random skulls on the ground. So, what I like to do, actually, is I like to... I don't remember which ones which ones are and are not bubbles. So I'm just going to snipe all these skulls from over here. Oh. You didn't hear anything, dude. It's okay, it's okay. The skulls are just... Uh, implo they're, they're all spontaneously combusting right in a row. It's fine. Combusting without the combustion, I guess. Man, that guy has really poor eyesight. I guess such should, be, such should be expected when you're just staring at your own sword all day, every day. Who knows how many centuries he's been down here, too, just staring. Like, he's holding the sword right in front of his face. You could put it down, dude. You could go for a coffee break or something, if you want. <laughs> Dark enough coffee breaks. Alright, so I guess it's just... Oh, well, it's not you, I know. You're too close to me. You are what already reanimated. So it looks like it's just the two that are flanking... The two skulls flanking the Dark Knight that are the uh, issue. And those ones turn into blue bubbles, if I remember, so it's even more of a nuisance. Because the last thing you need when fighting a Dark Knight is to not be able to use your sword anymore. Then they become a bit more of an issue than that. Alright. <laughs> Who needs a Master Sword, man? I got this bad boy. I wish I, I, wish I was still holding the sword during this cutscene. That would be so funny. Big key. Booyah. Alright, and with that, I think we're just about done with this temple. So let's just, uh... Oh gosh. Man, be glad I didn't throw that in your direction, Medley. Who knows what would happen to you. I like to think that it would completely... <laughs> that, like, throwing a giant sword at Medley's head, just that exact specific set of circumstances. Just, like... It would totally undermine the cutesy feel of this game, the cutesy atmosphere, and just, like, it would impale her head and it would be really gory and bloody, and it would just be like, Oh god, what's happening? <laughs> I, just, I just wish there was, like, one little thing like that in this game that just completely undermined it. I know they would never do that, but that'd just be kind of a neat little thing to see. I would feel so bad about it, too. Like, oh god, Medley! <laughs> I'm so sorry. I just impaled you with, like, like, the width of that sword blade was, like, the same as her head. That would have been... Ugh. Ugh, what am I- Oh gosh, I need to stop thinking about these things. Maybe I'm glad they didn't do that. Alright. 